Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone, to Terraria. We're doing the melee character now. We're playing as my boy, uh, Tabuki2. Don't worry about that message right there. Just doing some testing, making sure things work. But here we are, small world, new mods, latest Terraria and Team Mod Loader update. So this should be pretty fun. I hope it is. I hope we don't get our ass beaten, eaten, all types of different ways. Now... We're slowly, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this melee character, slowly. We may take our time a little bit more, and we're also gonna focus on smaller mods. But that's, that's gonna be the goal of this playthrough. Take it slowly, try and see everything, and not have to, like, towards the end of this series, rush through everything like I did in the Ranger character. And when I say rush through everything, like I said, I was testing stuff with the uh, World Generation. Uh, I mean, uh, like... You know how we started making all those weapons towards the end of the playthrough? That's what I mean when I say rushing things. Made all those weapons because I couldn't... I didn't make them throughout the playthrough. This playthrough, we're going to try our best. There's so many melee weapons. It's going to definitely be hard to fit them into the tiers and stuff. But hopefully we can figure it out. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's look through mods here. Let's start probably... Is there any early armor sets in this mod? I don't think there's any early melee sets from this mod. Pretty sure there isn't. Some of these are still pretty early, though. Increased movement speed. No, not that. Tremor? What's the early armor set? Is it the stone armor set for melee? Because if it is, that fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't want to wear that garbage melee set. It slows you by so much. You know how slow you are early in? Why would I want to slow myself even more? But let's take a look here. Keep on going through. Uh, Juice mod might have some early melee. Actually, I don't think it does. What else do we got? But look, you can just see some of the mods. G Realm. That's one of the mods I want to focus on. This playthrough is the G Realm mod. See that crit for five? Hell yeah. Ooh, fuck with me. This auto swing is impeccable. You cannot stop the auto swing. I'm also using the new mic. So hopefully this goes well. And tell me how you, if you guys like it or not. It definitely captures a lot of less background noise. I'm pretty sure. So you won't hear my mouse clicking and uh, keyboard that much. Which I know some people are like, your keyboard's loud as shit. Even though I think it was Jirachi's keyboard. Every time he's in a video, I think people say my keyboard's loud as shit. Even though it's his. Cause he's a mechanical. But let's keep going. So here we are, G Realm. Let's look at some shit here. Fuck me, that was a terrible time jump. Uh, we have these shells, which are cool as shit. Look at that glowing shroom shell. I want some of these shells. We can get a mushroom shell. Shroom shell. We can get a shroom shell, guys. Uh, we need 15 mushrooms and 20. Okay, that's not bad to make at all. But let's see if we can find our early melee set here. This barbarian stuff. But look at the defense. That's way too... Oops. That's way too high to be a melee set. There's a beekeeper armor set. Hold up. Screw this, man. Yeah, there's like multiple things. Tassels. Warlord helmet. Scout helmet. Beekeeper. Oh, it's a range set. <laughs> Check out, guys. The beekeeper set's a range set. Okay, that's a minion set. Uh, the pelvic. The pelvic set. Reinforced bone. Mm. Rib mail. Okay. Some interesting stuff. Grovite. That's late game. Arcane wielding station. What about some of the melee weapons? All right, here's some not so bad weapons. Grade Keepers, Kopesh. Uh, this. Oh, it's kind of hard to make. Whoa, what the fuck? But yeah, there's the Grave Keepers, Kopesh. Fifty hardened sand. Yeah, that's not that bad. Ooh, trifectal. That looks cool. And that's what it looks like. It's about all from that mod. At least the stuff we can make. As of now, oh the tiki pike. I don't know what the hell golden horns are from, from, but we should probably start with uh. Hold on, let me jump around this man. Should probably try and go get a gravekeeper's kopesh then. So we need to find des. Can you stop that. Can you stop that, sir. Should probably find a desert vine because that will obviously be the area where we get sand from. But we are playing as Tabu Kitu, uh, also known as Tabu Bitu's brother. If you guys know that stream series I'm doing with Ryan, you'll know who Tabu B2 is. Great man. Great warrior. Uh, we also have a lot of other new mods in here, like Expeditions. 
I'm pretty hyped for that. It's like a quest mod. Maybe I should do that right now. Let's do, actually let's just get weapons first. Let's get weapons first and then let's worry about that. And, ooh, didn't mean to do that. Hello? Okay. <laughs> ooh. I can buy tin stuff. Is this faster? Fast speed. These both have fast speed, don't they? Ooh, this has better axe power. And it's definitely gonna be stronger. You ain't gotta tell me it's, if it's stronger. I'm gonna actually sell this to you. Why? Because I don't want it. Same thing with that. I should probably auto trash, shouldn't I? Alright, so let's see here. This is the expedition lady. Obviously part of the expedition mod. So let's see what she gives us. Uh, hey, you new here as well? I recently got assigned to Chop Chop. But this wasn't the cushy, cushy desk job I was expecting. You any good at building? I can't focus at all with all these slimes around. Put a house for an NPC to move in. I already did it. That's the house over there. Thanks for setting up some shelter. I got, t I get tons of random shipment from my employer to help discover lands and collect samples. But I'm no good at adventuring. Would you be interested in helping? In exchange, I'm sure you could use the stuff I have lying around. Okay. What's the goal? Oh shit, right here. Is it? What? But a house for an NPC? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I have a house for an NPC. You still gotta build another one for her? Whatever. So we need to make. Now that we have enough wood, let's make this uh, shroom shell. Ooh, it's a rash too. Love a good rash. So the reason that I started this playthrough without really telling anyone when I was gonna start it. Is because I'm gonna record the like a chunk of the hardcore playthrough like all in one maybe like three episodes in like chunks now uh, just to have that sort of speeding up because I feel like I'm gonna die at any given moment any given moment in time all right hold up what do we need for the great papers compass we need 25 sandstone blocks oh shit and 50 hardened stand no problem please can we fuck off with the birds already I know this bird did not just come all the way from up here, down here. Up there to down here. Same thing with those sandy grits. I don't fucks with the sandy grits. Okay. So we need 50 of these. Which should not be a problem at all if we just keep doing what we're doing right now. And then we're going to need 25 of the other blocks. So luckily, we wouldn't have to delve too deep to get everything. Thank God for that. We'll just get everything we need and then we'll get the hell out of here. What was the other thing? Just wood? No, we need an anvil though. Maybe I should hunt for an anvil while we're down here. That might be a, a good thing to do. Try and see if we can find a, some chests with an anvil. Definitely not going to live being down here. Which is alright. Expected. This early on in the game's expected. Let me get all this tin ore. Can I really not mine that far? Uh oh. Get out of here, Kakatar. Oh, shit, look. Chest right here. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take a radar. Look at that. The wing slot mod actually moved where it is now. What is this? Oh, it's Curdite. Oh, that's a hard and sand block. So what that is. Whoop. Okay. Should I fight him? Might as well, right? I should. I should have the. Nope. <laughs> okay. There we go. You just gotta hit next and previous all right when you get down far enough the walls around you should look more gray and rocky that's the cavern there cavern there when you get there report back to me or at uh an expedition board and i can deliver some useful mining equipment look at that enter the underground reach the cavern lair that's not that bad we can that's a definitely a doable thing i don't like how many zombies are down here so what I really need to get right now is some iron. I think I'm going to go enter the cave. It's actually by, uh, what's her name? Oh, never mind. <laughs> she moved into the house. Thank you for moving into the house nice and easily, though. That's always a good thing. Hey, I'll take some stars. I don't know what, what melee weapons I'm going to make with them, but I'll take them. So we need iron. That's a thing that needs to be gotten right now. Uh, I can sell stuff to her. Ooh, what's that? Rusty buckle. 
Fuck yeah, dude. I'll take a rusty buckler. What is it? Does it not have a look? I don't think it has a look. Alright. But I'll take a rusty buckler. There's some iron. We should have an iron world. Not lead. Not that there's a problem with either or. Go ahead, grab that stuff. Hey, zombie. How are you doing, man? I'm just gonna shank you a couple of times, alright? Don't worry about it. Now, I wish they had an item in this game, uh. You know, with all the recent stuff on YouTube, I wish they had an item in this game. The uh, thousand degree knife. I wish that was like a sword. But it would probably be like a post Moon Lord sword. That's how overpowered it would be. It will be. It should be. Like, come on, a thousand degree knife? Hell yeah. That would rock them, sock them. Okay, so with my new mic, sorry if there's like a weird pop every time I do a jump cut. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know how to stop that other than cut it out in a post. But that sometimes I'll forget that. Where are my ropes? There they are. My inventory is a little bit crazy right now, probably because we don't have any weapons in it. All right. The problem with fighting monsters is if we don't get the right position with our uh, with our short sword, then they can just fuck us in our ass. Easy. That's easy. See, look. I got out of position. He started doing me. I don't know if I enjoy the doing. I'd rather not, please. So we got some some iron. It's obviously not enough to get anything done. So let me mine some stuff a little bit. Look at that. I can actually make a stone broadsword. Oh, thanks. Annoying. Oh, yeah, that's better. I will get rid of the tin short sword. No, maybe I'll just keep it for now. Just keep it for now. All right. We need a couple more stone to make a furnace so we can start smelting our iron. And once we get our iron smelted, we should be good. We should be good to make our way towards an anvil. Uh oh. Oh, shit. We can make one. It's like, just straight up. Hey, man. I'm about to ask you to leave. This is a restricted zone. Tabukitu is down here. And uh, once Tabukitu is in a place, it's his. He owns it. That's what I thought. Alright. So this is on deck. Let's make the Gravekeeper's Kopesh. Ooh. And it's fucking godly. Hell yes. I'm just going to keep this order. Right? We're going to switch this to number one then. I want to test this Gravekeeper's Kopesh then. I want to test this baby out. Hey. Sir, how you doing? Hold on. I got this mining potion active. You don't mind, right? <laughs> Get it? No? Alright. But look at that. That's some good ass damage. And. Oh my god, look at that. Frostburn, confusion, on fire, cursed inferno. What is the uncommon? Holy shit. That's a strong ass weapon right there. Uh, let's. What did we just get from? We got Invar stuff. So I originally wanted to make a furnace. Can I still make one? Let make some torches. Should be able to make one now. Yeah. There we go. So we can go ahead and start smelting stuff up too. Is that. Maybe we should try and get a tin armor. That might be the first good armor set to go to. But this Gravekeeper's Copet should carry us a good portion of the early game. So we're, I'm going to try and use this to the best of my ability. So next, we're going to need to get an early game armor set. But, uh, you know, it's the first episode. We should might as well try and fight a boss. Where the fuck? So hopefully if we can collect enough slime for it. Which I don't think we have, like, any slime right now. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we can fight the giant slime from Urshan. Because I do have Urshan back in here. Let's just get all that. Get all that tin. So we do actually have the fishing 2.0 mod in here. But this is 35 gold can't just buy shit that's 35 gold this early on you're a piece of shit you know that bohemus you're a piece of shit you're gonna you're gonna just like wave that wave that in my face like that knowing i don't have that amount of gold that's so fucked up dude all right hold up let's sell him some stuff i won't need one of sparking definitely will not need don't know if i'll need this broad sword anymore but you know it's a good thing to sell because it had a good reforge sell those like Time out. Those potions still break my game, apparently. I don't know what's up with those. Grenades? Yeah, we'll sell those. Wooden arrows? 
auto trash and then sell it. Grenades, well, we want to pick up more grenades so we can slowly sell those. Let's just spend all our money on Dynasty Wood. Okay. Shit, that's all I can buy as of the right, this moment. I want a lot, dude. <laughs> I just bought four. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? Uh, what, what else can I sell? My soul? Would you accept my soul? Radar. I can sell the radar. It's one gold. Just so I can get to house building early. Oh my god, I need more though. Fuck it, dude. Sell the topaz. Sell all but one topaz. Should I get some sh shingles? Let's get like 50 of each. 50 of each should be fine. Oh shit, I can't even get 50 of each. There you go. I was able to buy one with that. You know, sell a sapphire. There we go. Aha. All right, we worked it out. I mean, maybe we didn't get the greatest deal, but we worked it out. So I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. So we're going to need our first armor set. I might cave in to the wooden armor set, to be honest. Because it just feels like that's where we should go. I don't know, man. The wooden, did I say wooden armor set? I meant to say stone armor set. What other early armor sets can we make? Uh, swamp wood. Some magic set. No, that doesn't do anything for us. Okay. Here's the fishing 2.0 stuff. This is a modded mount. Look at that. The description is straight up. Ooh, there's an armored nautilus. Interesting. Okay. What about tremor? What early game armors does tremor, early game melee armors does tremor have to offer? Because we all know tremor. Tremor offers some of the greatest stuff. It's the mod, the go to mod. And I'm trying to change it up a little bit so we might not make it the go-to mod. Sorry if my chair was loud right there. But it seems we might have to make it our go-to mod when it comes to armor, possibly. Let me see the ice armor set. That's what I really want to see. Where the fuck is our ice armor set at? Up, oh, there it is. I mean, gives your hair some frosty tips too. Like, how can you turn something down like that? That's all? That's all the early game armor set? Okay, maybe we don't need to go to it. Yeah, we don't exactly need to go to it then. Urgent? Maybe Ur- no. I don't expect Urgent to add anything. Then we have to go to the only other, Calamity. I doubt Calamity adds in an early dan- Oh, Victicide. Victide. But even then, we'd need to fight a boss. So I don't know. This, uh, what is it? Shroom? Shroom shell has become one of my favorite, favorite uh, accessories from mods recently. I don't know, there's something about it that looks really cool. I feel like if you guys play Dark Souls 2, those like Ninja Turtle looking dudes from Dark Souls 2. This is what I feel like, and they're cool looking enemies, so, you know, you gotta get in that fashion. Fuck, fuck, I don't, I don't even fuck with Terraria because of the, you know. I don't fuck with Terraria accessories because they, you know, they do good stuff. I only fuck with them because they make me look good. Am I right or am I right? This is where I died. A wolf killed me. Brutally murdered me. So, I think... I'm probably going to give in to Stone Armor. <laughs> I don't know. That seems like the best. What's this guy drop? Hey, can you come... Yeah, I'm not fighting you. You can stay up there. Probably just going to give in to Stone Armor. I can, I can deal with this low. You ain't taking me twice, wolf. You ain't taking me twice. And there was a beta wolf that killed me too, so. It's only right that I get revenge. It's only right. See a bohemus. But we're here trying to get some of these ice souls. Might as well. Uh, even though our current weapon fucking destroys. So, throughout this playthrough, since we did do a primarily flail yo-yo playthrough. Probably won't be seeing too many flails or yo-yos unless I did not touch any of them at all. And I know there's a couple. But, like I said, primarily we won't be checking out them. Uh, definitely spears will be a thing I want to check out throughout this playthrough. Uh, whatever else is an interesting throwing weapon. I know there's a lot of interesting throwing weapons all around. There's that meteor fist from... Uh, oh shit, look at that. That's really cool. It's from more chest loot from Grey... D. Uh, this is one. Of, this is like one of the coolest like early game mods. I like this mod a lot. 
because we got the buckler earlier which we have a decent amount of defense thank god to the buckler so we got like two defense here what in the hell sent from heaven okay four defense here two defense here and then one defense there so i don't know how the fuck we have eight we should have six but i'll take eight and let why do we have eight doesn't it only add up to seven <laughs> i have no clue i'll take it oh maybe because maybe this gives you defense i don't know but we're also trying to find early chests on our way wait why did i leave that biome if i was supposed to be farming stuff in it i don't know Hey, you know what I'm really excited about? I'm really excited about once we get to the Underworld. Because there's a certain mod in here that changed the generation of the Underworld. And I'm very, very excited to show that off once we get around to there. And it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. And it's also going to be hard with what we got to deal with down there. But we'll come to it when that, you know, the moment actually comes around. For now, let's just get working on this stone armor. Whoa. Why is she selling this stuff already? She's selling fucking gold. That's actually really cool. All right, hold up. What are these iron bolts used for? Are these gonna be used for anything I need? Let's see. Any melee weapons? The Wallopper. Oh, I guess that, okay, yeah, I'll keep those. What about the meteorite ones? Meteorite looks like all range weapons, so I'll go ahead and sell that. Might as well. So I died. I fell down a hole. <laughs> Complete accident obviously all right so let's uh make that and then let's sure let's buy a fucking spear from her might as well right wayfarer's spear i don't think it's gonna be that much of a game changer the other ones look like they do a little bit too much damage i wasn't really looking to be honest well i'll take the spear for now i need 75 stone just to make the chest plate so this might take a while for me getting all this uh stone that i need to gather up for our very early game armor set that will change not too far in but i'd rather have an armor set now than later i guess and there we go we should be good and what's the set bonus increase maximum defense by two always a good thing to have invar axe 45 percent that'd be a little bit better but i feel like we should save our invar aglet we can make an aglet tin flail no that's strong damage uh this is these two are we can make a plated shell out of tin and copper no copper or tin and then iron or lead so yeah sure why not can i have both on oh you can only have one at a time can i at least have this here <laughs> now nah, i like the i like the, the look i like the tin don't don't do it you'll regret it who my boy you're a little bit too dumb, though, so I didn't even have to worry about you doing it. I did not have to worry about him doing it. Alright, so, before we end off this first episode, the premiere episode, we're gonna go do that quest. What is going on there? We're gonna go do the quest. The uh, little underground ca cavern. Whoa. Chill out now. Don't get too hyped with that shit. We're gonna do the, do the underground cavern quest. I'm trying to find the caves underground. And then from there, we'll end it off. But first, there was something I was about to do. I forgot. Hopefully, it's not too hard to get down to where I need to get down. Uh oh, holy shit. I'm kind of scared to take fall damage. Can I, can I place it? Can I, can I place it? There we go. Uh, how many torches do we have? That was my last one. Yeah, I'll make some. I'll make some, but I'll use a shine potion primarily to get through most of this. Because we're just trying to get in, get out, get ahead get some head all right let's go check out the right first we can activate this swiftness motion oh shit look at that it's chest what up boy you about to get torn up it was a joke it was a joke bitch you about to get destroyed oh confusion confusion there we go thank god for all this stuff all these buffs and things that i have on it oh fuck yes hermes boots and it's quick Hermes boots. Oh my god. That's actually really good. So that should negate any bad effects that we have early on. You know what? I can't negate death. I don't have uh, any things that negate death yet. So we're just going to have to do the outplays for now. 
Hopefully the outplays will work. Let's drink some iron skin. We're going to be down here pretty long, I feel like. Just until we get to the cavern. Cavern lair. But we can handle this. We handle this. Oh, confusion. Get him. Get him while he's confused. All right, he wasn't confused for that long, but we still got him. Mandible bow. There's actually a good weapon those guys drop. That hopefully we can get later on. All right, no. You need to stop spawning. Like, you're coming from the marble biome. I don't appreciate that. There we go. Confusion. Confusion is carrying us through those... Fighting those guys. All right, I don't really like that. There's more of you guys. Come on, attack me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's a lot of you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess I'm fighting all of you. Why not, right? Why not? My defense is good enough. My defense is good enough to handle a couple of hits from slimes. That's no problem. You? You're getting a little too. You're getting a little too quick for my liking. That dude, he's trying. He's in a rush. He's on a rush. Did you leave the uh, did you leave the sink running? Did you leave your fridge open? We got an interesting uh, biome combination going on down here. Uh, let's see how this works out once I enter the equation. Hey, back up. Just back up. There's a whole lot of mushrooms and, and cobweb. I like this, actually. It looks really fucking cool. So, if you guys didn't know, if you guys don't really watch the streams, which I know there's a lot of you that don't actually watch the streams, but I was talking about, oh my god, I didn't think the poison dart would insta-kill me. I was talking on the streams about, you know, the houses I built in the previous series. So I've done one in the sky, which was the last series, the ranger series. I've done one uh, in the desert, done one in the water, but where I haven't done one, oh shit, where I haven't done one is underground. So we're going to be making an underground base, and we're going to see how that turns out. Uh, so I was asking people on the stream about some suggestions about it. People were like, oh, some, I wouldn't say people were like, but some couple of people, they're like, oh, hey, uh, try out a an underground dungeon theme biome. Or not biome, dungeon theme house. And yeah, that sounds interesting. So maybe we can work some things out. Maybe uh, I'll ask you guys in the next stream about it. But let's head back down there. We got to get redemption now. So we got to just watch out. Watch out for that shit. Oh, God. I'm going to die already. Holy fuck. Oh, look at... I didn't even notice it. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of traps down here. We got the arachnophobia. We got it so early on. I don't want to use it. I'm going to have to wait a little before we start using that. It's such a good weapon. I don't want to use it so early on, because then that means we'll just out-tier everything already. And I don't want to do that. That would just be bad if I did that. But, you know, the arachnophobia, we will be using it. We will be using it. If a dangerous situation comes up, I'll have it on deck. Like a dangerous situation, I want to live. I don't want to die. I want to live. Sucks that we made the, uh, the shell upgrade already. The three defense one, because we could have got the mushroom one. I didn't expect us to find a mushroom biome so easily. So that's why I upgraded to it. Are we in the cavern there? So I think the expedition stuff is like manual. You do everything and then you, you know, you trust yourself to do all the quests. And that's how it goes. Like you hit the complete quest thing. It doesn't auto complete for you. So that's, that's fine. We can do that. No problem. All right. This is... I clicked out of the game, dude. All right, I know why I couldn't swing my sword and why I clicked out of the game. It's because it fucking has a mana cost on it, so we can't really use the sword anyways. So maybe that's a good uh, median there. I don't like this position, I mean. Okay. I'm just gonna poke at you from a good distance away. Time out. I didn't, I didn't think this would happen. I didn't think this is the situation we'd be dealing with. Parasprite I can deal with. Get out of here. Parasprite I can deal with. So we're kind of getting the cave music playing, but I don't know exactly if we're in the cave yet. Just not feel like it. We're coming up on a swamp by him, though. Let's get rid of this proto-pet. And get out of here. You ugly, ugly person. Hold up here. Let's, uh... 
rope coil up real quick. So I'm trying to see what kind of goods are up here. Ooh, we got thorium. Thorium's always a good thing. Okay, yeah, we got emeralds too. Love me some emeralds. Don't love me that shit. Uh, is this... I don't know if this is considered the cavern bomb. We're in a swamp. That's my problem, is that we gotta mine through a swamp. How about we make the quest, uh, get to the swamp? Okay, we can't do that anyways. It won't let me mine. It won't let me mine the swamp blocks. Uh, let's go to the left then? I don't know. You know what, I consider this, uh, cavern biome. This is how far I can go. Without completely having to go around the swamp. I mean, we're, we got decently far down. That's like, almost half. So, uh, let's go ahead. Let's head back up. Claim our W. Oh, God. How are we going to... You know what? We'll head back up by drowning. Hey, Isabel. I'm trying to claim this quest. I'm trying to get that mad dash for cash. Uh, how do I... Wait, what am I doing like this? I can just go like this. I can just do this. Duh. Track. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe it isn't manual. I thought it was manual. Huh. Oh, no. There you go. Hooray. Thank you, Isabel. So now we get an iron pickaxe and some copper armor. I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell the copper armor. You can have that. Thanks for the ropes. The ropes are cool. The barrel, you can have. What's the next quest after that? Even though we're ending off, what's the next quest after that? Hey, do you think the corruption hides some ore that could be made into workable metal? I mean, it's a possibly. I mean, it is a possibility considering how it transforms things. Please investigate it. Whoa. Interesting interesting items so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of the melee character i really gotta write down a list of what tiers everything is gonna go in i think just a straight up tier list but uh you know you know the deal it's your boy gamers 101 we didn't fight a boss in this episode oops